Adomé sur tes mandeurs. Tes mandeurs sont des demandeurs. Tes mandeurs au sang démenti. Tes mandeurs sont des menteurs. I want to see my peace go up as if I left it alone, son soeur. Big man, look at my EYE. Uh -huh. Quand tu sais que je n'ai pas peur. Quand tu sais que je contrôle ma zone. Quand tu sais that I run this town. CRW, always 10 and 11. You already know that I hold it down. Sitting comfortably on my phone. Stroking my ego, rubbing my crown. Coming for anybody and anybody that will try and copy and paste my sound. Blood clap. <laughs> do you know, do you know <laughs> when it comes to spitters in the sea, no one can actually chat to me. No one can say nothing. I'm the hardest. No, no, no. Dead serious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> In my city, bye bye. no one can talk to me. Yeah. You see, when we go in the world, yeah. maybe there's competition yeah, in them yeah, 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 other yeah. cities. But in my city, bro, I am the king. Yeah. And whoever's got a problem with that, DM me. <laughs> Message me. <laughs> Message me. <laughs> Come on. Brother. Oh, oh, man said DM. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, so boy, LK. You know, the Congolese sound man. Mr. Good Vibes. All of that. You rather buy a roll that rather buy a house. I'd rather make this movie silence when you run your mouth. What I would like to happen in the next ten years is actually be in a place where I've done what I wanted to do in terms of like achievements and just sit back really. So win awards, tour around the world, drop albums. In ten years I wanna have that GOAT status legend. Do you get what I'm saying? That's pretty much it, man. Oh, I crack codes, crack my head, now I'm breaking down. I put my Uzi at you. So I'm Congolese, born in Kinshasa, um, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And then we moved to the UK. I did my primary school in the UK. Then went back, did my secondary school, and that's like where the whole music thing kind of kicked in and then when i came back to the uk in 2014 that's when you know I, I just decided to take things seriously like i'm so in love with like lyricism and flows and stuff like that so i ended up um getting inspired by like let's say chip um gets um Shilingo, um and rich free two and avelino like that's just musically, you know what I mean? Because I'm also into fashion. Fashion-wise, it's more about ASAP Rocky, Kanye, Pharrell. Hi, I'm Mark. I have a company called MVM. It stands for Mark Vincent Media, and it's to help up-and-coming artists develop a career in the music industry. The idea of the business is to give the artist complete creative freedom whilst offering full services offered by a record label and all the artists would do is pay for the services that they're interested in. So it's completely tailored to the individual. What's up? It's your boy Kino. <laughs> oh, yeah. With the music, oh, sometimes he like hits me up or Kino, slap a hook on me. I'm like, what? You sure? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's my guy. You know what I mean? so, and obviously, sometimes we'll be chilling outside, right? And we slap on a beat or something, you know? And obviously, my brother just likes to, you know, go off and freestyle. So, you know, it just it gets gassed in that. And then, yeah, I just like start singing over or whatever. And we just vibe, man. We just vibe. Like, it's all vibes. You feel me? Got some chicken wings that I'm about to sell. Hi, my name's Alex, I'm the resident engineer of Horsham Studios. Uh, I've been running it for about three years now, we're based just south of London. So today we've been recording a song with LK uh, and Kino Blue. Um, both of them are artists that are based in the local area, based in Crawley. Um, they've both done a fantastic job with the song today and to be honest, every time they ever come into the studio they always do a really, really great job, so today is no exception. Yeah, look, I see you always got your guard up. Let loose, come and catch a vibe and spark up. And after cruising in the field, we can park up somewhere in the field, somewhere nice for a starter. Starting on my old things, now they look at Starstruck. At this point right now, I feel like I know who I am as a person, and it was very easy for me to portray that in my music. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel like I'm just. 
I just found myself. I've just found my identity again. That's where I'm at musically. Yeah, me and LK, we, we just vibes. We just vibes. Like even even with the whole music thing, haven't really it wasn't really like, oh yeah, straight away music. It was more like, yo, we're just chilling, playing football. Sometimes I go to my man's yard, we sit there, watch Netflix. And you know how most primary schools have like PE, yeah? My primary school had choir and um, brass instruments and stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Orchestra and that. Love the choir, love to sing. Um, I picked up like, um, what's it called? The, the baritone, uh, trumpet. So I used to be in the orchestra just playing those. It was lit, bruv, it was lit. That's literally how I go into the whole music thing. It was actually live. And it's just, we're just, Ca it's casual and with the whole music thing as, as I said the way it came about let's say we'll chill at a party or even chilling at yard or whatever slap on a beat my man just starts going off you know what I'm saying and then obviously me I'd come just do a little yeah you know, a little vocal in there and that and yeah man it was vibes and that in terms of what I see for LK and my artists uh, in the years to come my number one goal is to allow them to transition from where we are now to making a full-time career out of music. That's what I'm set out to do, is to get them noticed by the right people, and it's exciting to me, and that's why I do it. Basically enable them to make informed, free choice about what they want to do musically as a professional career. So Eugene is very passionate, I'd say. He puts a lot of emotion into his songs. Um, in comparison to a lot of artists that come in here, they have their bars, they do their thing, but Eugene, when he comes in here, he writes a song as an artist. It's like that momentum when you're building it, yeah? yeah. You just want to keep it going, and then when you just miss that one syllable, it just crashes everything. Yeah. All right, let's go. I took my time to also, like, go back to my roots, really understand who I am as a person, really know myself as a person, so that when it goes through the music, anybody who correlates with anything that I go through, it can automatically you know what I mean, hit them, touch them, they can automatically connect with that, you know what I'm saying? Before I was doing music just to, I can say, please, please people and just make what's dope. But now it's more about the message, the substance. He doesn't come in here as a rapper on a beat, he thinks songs from start to finish and through every single point he always has something to say, some emotion to, you know, put across. For example, he said, um, 96, 96, like, at that point, I was fired from my job, yeah, I had no money, and for me, it kind of like, I didn't know if I was going to be in the studio again or not. The mind space that I was in was quite dark, which allowed me to kind of bring out those emotions, because at the same time, I'm questioning if this music thing is actually for me, Financially, like I'm not in a good place, so. But I'ma speak up now. Listen. There's an unknown number on my phone. I'ma let it ring. Devil knocking on my door, but I ain't trying to let him in. Married to the game, I almost that's the way to wear the ring. Cause life could have been different if I went and studied medicine. Dropped out, took a L. Deep down, it's still a win. Recently, like earlier this year, the death of my grandma. Because initially, I wanted to do this music thing just to show her that I can be successful in music. I think when she died, it kind of like brought a different side out of me, which was more passionate, like, I'm gonna make you proud kind of thing. Because I didn't really have anyone to talk to, I was running back to my music kind of thing. So now, yes, there is a therapeutic side. Like, it's easy for me to open up to, like, one of my brethren. As a black man and in our culture, the whole mental health thing is something that we really, like, neglect and don't really, like, look into. That idea or those thoughts in my head are no longer there. They're on the paper now. They're on the song. I am careful with what I say. I'm careful with the message I deliver because I do believe, like, it is going to touch someone. It might change somebody's life. 
pick success always has a price and social media had this generation thinking success equals money cars followers are like so i turned to my dog again to advise me some more he's like think about it what the fuck you doing this for i mean look at my family mama working two jobs i'm trying to bust my ass so she don't have to work anymore it means like do or die think of is it going to war i'm pumped up now shit i feel inspired for sure i'm sharpening my soul in a gobi smoke next time i record and get them a side of me they never seen before man i look for happiness you look for attention i follow my intuition music is really a spiritual thing and sometimes the feelings that you connect with the vibes you can't really explain it music can take you from being in a bad mood to all of a sudden being happy to all of a sudden being relaxed and as i mentioned before it was therapy for me so it kind of helped me go through depression and i also learned to speak positivity from my lyrics I believe in speaking into existence. Bringing his vision together with what he sees as an artist and what he feels as an artist, but making it relatable to what's currently viable and doing well. If I really have to be honest, I think one of the achievements was just first putting out my first EP. That was a big thing for me. Putting out a body of work. How do you even start? Are people even gonna listen to you? That was a mad thing, you feel me? Then from that, me and Mark, we kind of got together and just thought like, you know what, let's put a show, help other artists, you know, do their thing, like give them a platform. One of my brethren was like, oh, there's a competition going on, Hobson's doing a tour, why don't you come through and, you know, addition, I know you can win this, da 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 da. I was just like, man, cut the bullshit, man. Like, I'm sure he's mentioned uh, performing on Hobson's uh, UK and Europe tour at Concord 2, which was an amazing moment for both of us and still can't get over that. I honestly didn't want to do it because I had so much self-doubt, but he just kept on saying, yeah, that's Corey, by the way. And during the audition as well, I was a bit mad nervous, like, oh, Hobson. Like, for me, I just wanted to go there, take a picture of my guy and just bounce. Yeah, because they want they want to see you break that sweat. They want to see you. They want to see you. you know, they, it's almost like the crowd wants to test you when they see you live. Yeah. Like, okay, I heard the album. Cool, cool. Yeah. And yeah, my guy was just like, yeah, you've won the audition, and you're gonna perform with me like midway my set, and having him tell me that my stuff was dope was already nobody can chat to me kind of moment. You feel me? And um. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, the whole performance at Concord 2 with Hobson up to date for me is, um, yeah, it's a big achievement. Make some motherfucking Shout out to my man LK. He won the audition today out here in Brighton. He came and did his thing, man. In terms of 2020 and upcoming releases, you might see quite a fresh perspective. Next year is pretty much going to be an introduction. I feel like it's gonna be like, take me seriously. Yeah, the project, see the upcoming project, yeah? If you're sleeping, you're sleeping. If you're sleeping, you're gonna miss out. Open your ears, because it's gonna be a mazalin. I can say Eugene is an exceptional artist. We've got some really, really great stuff in the pipeline. Uh, he's always in here, you know, so he's always making new stuff. I really, really enjoy working with him, and I'm really, really excited to see what happens in the future. Yeah, my upcoming project really just embodies who I am and my identity, no like, no cap, serious sounds, proper serious tunes, you see me? So, yeah, that's about it. And sometimes I get carried away, cause everybody is a sinner at the end of the day. I know me better kinda end of the face, so put respect on my name, I feel like I should be aligned with the grace. Winning or losing, I just learn to keep a smile on my face. I'm from my jungle, I'm not surprised to be surrounded by snakes, damn. Sky's the limit, I aim higher 10 years from now, I see myself running my own empire, LK.